Hi guys, I'm Mohammad Shahzad. So today we will learn how to export a OVF template from VMware vCenter. So let's go and start. First of all, I will go on my uh, vCenter, here my vCenter, and the machine which I want to move, I will just do shutdown, like this tiny Linux VM. I will first power off. okay it will power off and after that I will just right click on that and I will go into template and I will do export OVF template okay so here is a uh, files like RAM and VDisk so if you want to see more options uh, enable advanced options includes BIOS includes MAC addresses and other things but I will not do that uh, because uh, MAC addresses and everything if I want to uh, delete from here and want to do it there I can uh, do that but uh, it's better there I want to refresh a new MAC there but it's up to you all what you want so let's go with this one ok press ok it will prepare and it will start uh, downloading the uh, OVF ok here it is let's see ok to our I'll say allow done let's see anything else allow Okay, the other one, sorry, hello, done. So my Chrome was blocking sometime, you know, if the Chrome is blocking, and it's depend on the browser. If you have any browser, you can do it. So we have a OVF file, and as well as the VMDK. VMDK is a disk which will take a little time. Hopefully it's not a big, so I will just open uh, my folder. So third file is .ml. So you need these three files to uh, bring on a new location. So I can type here over here. OVF. So I will move these three files into my and I'm, um, I can take this to uh, any vCenter and just there I will just go and right click on any server so and then I can do deploy a OVF file so in deployment you will choose browse location and I'll go in my downloads in this and you have to select all three so all three these files you have to select and open so it all file will be here and you go for next and then choose uh, any of your uh, you know blade server to deploy and then this machine is see same name it exists because I will not deploy here because I didn't remove my old uh, teeny if you want same name is here see so I can delete this one it is only for uh, uh, to show you okay and I'll go again here yeah. just deploy a VM browse all three okay next my here next see it's processed and you can choose um, here uh, like 192.168 am I another um, server next it will stop validation and after validation it will start deploying this VM let's just wait and let's see okay so we'll select storage which data store you want to uh, install this one if we want to install on this and this is my all data stores so you can choose next and select a network here and then next 
okay finish so it will deploy here in this server from that OVF uh, and after that when it's complete it will come here and you can do whatever you want to do it it's depend on your um, you know it's completed and I can turn on my VM now so it's because it's a small size teeny uh, Linux VM that's why it took a little time because it's total some like um, 15 to 20 MB it's not more than that if I see my full size of these VMs sorry I will go to there because I move into the folder here so if we can see full maximum is like my size is only 11 MB so it's depend on your v uh, VM size uh, the time total time exporting and then deploying time depends on your VM size for example if my if I go on my these big big VMs so it will take a lot of time so be patient for that so uh, this was the video to exporting a VMware template and then we uh, saw how to deploy it back so thank you for watching my videos uh, if you guys like my video just click on like uh, icon and after that uh, subscribe my channel for upcoming videos don't forget that and hit the bell icon so you will notify a new videos thank you very much